I'm Molly McHugh, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, the smartphone that stops bullets, a wristband that aims to track your total health, and Motorola lays the foundation for modular smartphones. If you're looking to track your health minute by minute, check this out. This is the Aero Bracelet, and it aims to track way more than your heart rate and exercise habits. With its special embedded spectrometer, it can actually monitor what you eat. By scanning the blood, it can count calories and even break down the nutritional value of your meals and snacking. And it, of course, keeps track of what you choose to eat. The Aero also monitors stress levels and will vibrate to warn you when you're getting too stressed out. Wear it at night and it'll monitor your sleep patterns, and it can even wake you up at the optimal time. Now, I'm not sure what the market is for a bracelet that wakes me up, tells me I'm stressed, and keeps track of all the junk food I've eaten. But the Aero can be pre-ordered for the unbelievably low price of 150 bucks, with a delivery date of late 2014. Last month, we told you about Phone Blocks, a concept for a modular and customizable smartphone platform. The idea is you could add a larger battery, better camera, or full keyboard depending on your needs. Now, while the idea of designing a device based on your own individual needs is great, it takes an established device manufacturer to make it a reality. That's where Motorola's Project Aura comes in. The project is developing a free, open hardware platform for creating modular smartphones, with the goal of enabling developers to create the modules that run on it. Modules can be of the usual fare, battery, processor, display, or they could be something not yet thought of. An alpha release of developers' kits is scheduled for this winter, so expect to hear a lot more about Project Aura in 2014. Smartphone makers use words like rugged and scratch resistant to let customers know how tough their little devices are. Now it appears that HTC could throw bullet resistant into the mix when it comes to their Evo line. Earlier this week, the HTC Evo 3D stopped a bullet in its tracks and likely saved the life of the convenience store clerk who had the smartphone in his chest pocket. And back in 2011, this HTC Evo caught a bullet which had been randomly fired outside a nightclub, again, likely saving its owner's life. Now, we aren't suggesting that HTC add the phrase halting the cap to its ad campaign, but seriously, we're talking smartphones stopping bullets. That's kind of awesome. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.